Hello, Colors, and welcome back to Viva Barca. Welcome to another interesting episode where we are going to be discussing on some latest. As usual, we start with this transfer report claiming that Celtic manager denies any offer from Barcelona for his in demand right back by name Josip Juranovic. We are going to be discussing on that as we move ahead. Then secondly, talking on this other transfer report, claiming that Barcelona are among clubs interested in signing this 21-year-old Belgian contract rebel by name Nicolas Raskin. We are also going to be discussing on that. So guys, before we get right into the full story, please do ensure to subscribe. Turn on the post bell notification to always stay notified whenever I post a new video. Consider liking the video and please watch it right up to the very end. Barcelona are currently in the market for a new right back. With Hector Bellerin struggling to make an impression, the club are in desperate need of a new face in the position as part of Xavi's plans to further strengthen that defence. Barca have already targeted multiple players in the transfer window and it was recently revealed that Josip Juranovic was one of them. The report even said that the club were going to you know, make an attempt to sign the Croatian international who made an impression during the FIFA World Cup in Qatar. However, Celtic manager Ante Postecoglou has confirmed that the club have received no offers for Juranovic, effectively refuting those recent reports. We haven't had any offer on any player. If there's a problem or if players have things coming up about their future, I'm sure they will come to see me. And CEO also Michael Nicholson will talk to the representative. But right now there's nothing. Zero. Zipper. Nothing. Prostekulo said in a recent press conference. Formerly of Leisure Warsaw, Juranovic's current contract at Celtic does not expire until 2026. As the player had only joined Celtic last year. He has since become an integral part of the Scottish team, having featured in 50 competitive matches for the club. Juranovic took his game one step higher during the World Cup, notably helping Croatia reach the semi-final stage and even finishing third in the competition. He was an ever-present figure in the right back and his performances have reportedly put Barcelona on red alert. However, with Postecoglou denying any offers for Juranovic, it will be interesting to see whether the Catalans come up with an attempt to sign the Croatian international in this upcoming January transfer window. After a decent performance at the World Cup, um, Josip Juranovic has been drawing a lot of interest, not just from Barcelona, but from other top clubs across Europe. Yesterday, we started seeing the reports of Barca showing interest in Juranovic, who plays for Celtic. And of course, after seeing his performances at the World Cup, Barcelona continues to show serious interest in the player. And now we hear the Celtic manager refuting any claim or whatever the report, the rumors talking about Barca link with him or clubs from Europe link with him to buy him. Um, definitely we know most of these managers don't go to the press and speak blatantly about the facts. Some of them try to just make things cool, you know, just to reduce the, the speculations and things like that, which is quite understandable. Juranovic have been attracting interest, you know, with his street performances at the World Cup. Barcelona continue to show interest. Um, definitely, we have been hearing reports Barcelona, you know, might not even sign anybody in the January transfer window because of the financial situation of the club, and partly due to the financial fair play in La Liga that Barca, Barca are not complying with it currently, and this will come definitely as a big blow for us um, to sign players that can still help strengthen our squad even further. Um, definitely, when the World Cup comes like this, players. Take that opportunity to shine and of course change their status going to better clubs um all depending on the performances that they put on in the world cup um and definitely josip juranovic is one of those players who have increased his market value by his world cup performances he has been playing so well helping Croatia to go as far as the semi-finals and taking the third place position of the world cup and that have you know drawn attention attracted interest from top clubs like Barcelona on the player. Definitely, he will be happy to join a big club like Barca from Celtic. But it all depends, right? It all depends on our financial capabilities, which definitely, as, is, as things stand, 
Barcelona are in a very precarious situation, to be honest. And definitely, to even sign some certain players that will come and strengthen the squad will be a big blow for us. So let's see how things will go. Now that the Celtic manager have come out in the press conference and you know refuse all those claims that Celtic have, re have received offers for the player, um, it even makes things more difficult right now to see how um, the player, how things will look like when it comes to the link with the player. So, fingers crossed and see if actually the January transfer window will be possible for FC Barcelona to sign him. Then, moving on to the next story of discussion. Given the economic situation that they are facing, Barcelona have been forced to continue looking for market opportunities and bargains in order to strengthen their roster. Over the past couple of summer windows, the Blaugrana have brought in several free agent signings and the trend is set to continue next year as well. There have been already been strong links to the likes of Engolo Kante, Inigo Martinez and Jorginho, all of whom will see their contracts expire at the end of the season. Now, according to reports in Belgium, as relayed by Mundo Deportivo, Barcelona have set their sights on standard Liège contract rebel Nicolas Rastkin as a potential recruit for 2023. The 21-year-old started at uh, the standard Lech Academy and had stayed to the youth setups at RSC and the Lech and KAA Genk um, before returning to Lech in 2019. Since then, he has grown into a key part of the team, um, racking up 96 appearances in which he has 5 goals and 13 assists. Raskin had been in good form this season, racking up a goal and 4 assists from 18 appearances across all competitions, which are impressive numbers considering he played as a number 8 or a number 6. However, the 21-year-old is out of contract at the end of the season and has refused to sign a new deal. As a result, he has been relegated to the subsidiaries by Standard Liège, with an exit now on the horizon. The midfielder will not be allowed to return to the first team setup until he agrees to sign a new deal, which is looking unlikely at this point. So there is a solid chance that Raskin will leave as a free agent in the summer of 2023. There is also a possibility that he would leave for a nominal fee in January itself and Barcelona are said to be one of the clubs interested in such a move. As iterated earlier, the Blaugrana are looking for bargains and free transfer opportunities and Raskin, given his immense potential, could be an interesting investment for Barca on a cheap fee in January. But they will likely face competition from the from clubs such as Leeds United, Fiorentina, and Olympique de Marseille. While club broker are also said to be keen and the best place to sign Ras King. So, guys, with that, we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time, bye for now.